This is called Fly JBS. You can hide doing your jailbreak your eye device. So it's basically a bypass jailbreak detection tweak. This is called Carbridge. It was actually updated um, to support iOS 13 and 14 with the do, 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 keep forgetting what it's called. Uh, bridging compatibilities for iOS 13 and 14. So now we have like, you know, we're instead of using the port out, which, which we could still use, which just basically just mirrors your, your phone to your Apple Pay, Apple Play. Um, on your car now you actually can like import your apps just like you can with iOS uh, 10 to 12 you could do import your apps with iOS 13 and 14 so it's version 2.0 and up that's the version of the update with that support she's called jellyfish uh, modernize your lock screen this is called current uh, bypass unofficial supports iOS 12 to 14.2 to kernel level jailbreak uh, detection bypass and just with kernel uh, bypass, make sure you guys, you know, run that and use that at your own risk. And your developer is not taking responsibilities for educational purposes only. So um, we're not responsible for any damages or whatever happens to your device. Uh, but next week is called Block UX. It's a privacy ad blocker. Next week is called What to Sue 2 for WhatsApp. Power with iOS 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Uh, makes WhatsApp easy and simple to use. You have these features for WhatsApp. This is called Court, uh, change your notification style. This is called Anywhere Widgets for iPad, allow widgets to be on the home screen on the iPad. This is called Blue Edit for Reddit, add some useful features to the Reddit's official iOS app. This is called Quick Connect, um, with so many active conversations, sometimes it be tough to get to the ones that are most important to you. So Apple marketing team seems to think that it's a common problem. Um, with that, you can upgrade iOS 14 to fit it. With this tweak, the only way to print your favorite contest is to why today, using this tweak. This tweak is called Etsnock. Um, it's also another one called Etsy Non, easy to use file server, making it very easy to file, view, and manage your iOS files. But with Etsnock, it's the first time I have tweaks that, uh, like Hide Me 8 and Sprintomize, created with the six months because I want to give people an awesome free alternative. So, yeah, pretty cool. This tweak is called Hide Me 8 iOS 8, and return uh, of the extremely powerful tool you come to know and love. So, hides UI elements. She's called Magma Evo, redefine your control center. Next, she's called Answering Machine Ets Ets. We see voicemails on your device. Next, she's called Ets Switcher. Cut with iOS 12 to 14 and multitask screen, swipe down, the applications, respring, and reboot. And one of my favorite she's called Ets Line. Uh, so, with this tweak, cut with iOS 10 to 14, not support Game Center. It allows you to create an um, app multi front feature, which means you can log into, you can create like a save like data, so you actually can have like two accounts or two different save states of an application. So really cool. So you see, it was optimized for iOS 14. And it was updated today as making this video. It's called Floating Dock Plus, and Floating Dock Plus was built. It's a uh, Gives you multitasking features, dock gestures, action supported, and make sure you read the refund policy if you're interested in getting a refund before buying it. This is called iCleaner Pro. It's a tweak. Well, it's an app that allows you, you know, free up space by removing unnecessary files from your eye device. This is called Animations Be Fast Plus, and uh, speeds up your animations, making your device, you know, a lot more faster. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.